Full of bugs on box. Pancetta, take one. Mushroom pancetta. Who you are, intro. Oh yeah, sorry. <laughs> I am Flo, Senior Development Chef at All Plants, and today we're going to be making, I don't know why I'm holding this like a microphone, we're going to be making some mushroom pancetta, which goes on our carbonara. What inspired this component is bacon or guanciale. We use chestnut mushrooms. They bring a lovely texture, they're nice and firm, they're slightly nutty in flavour as well, so they just have a little bit more going on, and they're good for you. What's not to love? We're going to start with the marinade. First thing first, we need a bowl with olive oil. One teaspoon liquid smoke. If you want to mimic that kind of char grilled flavor, this is really great. So a teaspoon of him, it's incredibly strong. So don't go crazy. And then molasses sugar. Molasses sugar is super flavorful. It's got a really complex kind of treacly note to it. If you can't get molasses sugar, dark brown soft is fine. A heat teaspoon. And then moving on, so we've got tamari, which is a gluten-free soy sauce. So one tablespoon going in. Then we are gonna add in some paprika. We use smoked sweet. I think smoked sweet is the best one. It doesn't carry any heat, really. It just carries like a little bit of char grilled flavor, just a quarter teaspoon. And then we're just gonna whisk those together to make sure we dissolve the sugar. As with a lot of stuff, you can marinate it for an hour, you can marinate it overnight. But what I would say is it doesn't need it because they're like little sponges. 150 grams of mushrooms here, which I'm just gonna dice up and get in the marinade. Just little squares, but really don't lose too much sleep over it. Kind of like this. All right, so diced mushrooms into the marinade. They're all nicely coated. Really gorgeous, little glossy dark brown color. So trusty oven sheet lined with paper. And then spread them all on, and then just spread them out really evenly. Again, this is the same as if you're roasting any kind of vegetable, really. You want it nice and flat so that you get that caramelization on all sides. And we've got a really nice hot oven at sort of 220 convention, 200 pan. We're gonna put them in for about 15 minutes, give them a turn, make sure they're nice and evenly brown, and then put them back in again. And that's gonna dehydrate them and roast them and give them a really, really intense flavor. So that has had its full 30, 35 minutes. As you can see, they have shrunken up massively and they're these really intense little sort of nuggets of flavor. We serve this on our rigatoni carbonara, which is one of our like original pasta dishes. People love it, they're obsessed with it. You've been warned. Salty and crunchy, my favorite things. So good. 